It's the wide angle. And now people will really be able to hear me talk. <laughs> All right. You should, uh, can you text your parents? So no one, no one has checked in yet. That's a problem they had on Wednesday. Oh, really? coming here uh, this evening. Um, what a blessing and a joy it is to just be able to see so many people here um, tonight and gathered for uh, to watch these kids um, praise our, our Savior. And uh, we're just, it's so good to hear all the conversation and, and the community and the smiling faces. It's, it's just so good to see after a year of, of not being able to do this. So um, would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight and we are uh, just so grateful, Lord, that we have this opportunity to um, come here to uh, participate in a, a program, Lord, where we can watch our children uh, sing praises to you and use their gifts and talents that you have given to them. And Father, I just ask that you would be with each one of the, the students as they sing and uh, participate in the, the drama, Lord. Um, we pray that you would guide and direct them, that you would help them to remember their lines, that they would just do their best, Lord, and that they would uh, just use their gifts to, to praise you. And Father, I ask that you would uh, watch over all of us, that you would just bless us um, tonight as we are able to, to participate in this. Um, and we pray, Lord, that through all of this that you would be glorified. Um, we are so grateful for Sheboygan Christian School, how you have blessed it uh, this past year, um, how it continues to grow, Lord, and how you continue to bless this school. And uh, I just ask that you would watch over us all tonight and help us to have a great time together at Fellowship. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Here and there, but not, nothing else can handle. 
kept Alex's calm, cool, and in control. But one day, a bigger than ordinary problem appeared. <coughs> to some people, this problem might seem small and not at all scary, but Alex felt really worried. facing a mountain of challenge. Like most people, Alex did not want a problem in her life. I do not want a problem in my life. Would you please go away? Help! I need Text. How can we help? Whoa. Whoa. 
What is that? I kind of had a small problem, but the more you worried about it, the bigger it grew. Now look at it. It's, it's gigantic. Intimidating, troubling, overwhelming. What am I going to do? Excuse me, we couldn't help notice. You seem to have a mountain following you around. Hello, who are you? The name is Theopolis, Theo for short, and this is Richard. We have some experiences with problems like these. Mind if we take a look? I hate to tell you this, Alex, but I think you've got yourself a kid's hat. It's a gap? Oh no! I knew it! What am I going to do? Wait, what's a get up? Sometimes when the weather worries out of hand, a small problem can become a gigantic, intimidating, troubling, overwhelming problem. Can you help me get rid of it? I think we can point you in the right direction of things. When you have a problem, where do you normally look for answers? Google! <laughs> I know of a resource that's even more powerful than Google. The Bible. Oh! The Bible! Does anyone have a Bible with them today? I have mine. You carry your Bible around with you? Of course I do, in my backpack. I have mine on phone now. Perfect. Let's see if we can find a Bible story that can help Alex with her get up. Why don't we tell the Bible story of Joshua? His problem seemed to solve the mountain. Great idea. Joshua definitely faced a get up. Let's not just read the Joshua story. Let's turn it into a play. Can I be the director? Well, I suppose... Yes! All right, people, book of Joshua, chapter six. You can play Joshua, and you'll be our sergeant. Who wants to be a soldier? Places, people. Great wall, take one. And action. Our story begins in a long bit of time when Joshua was marching with his armies across the desert. Sergeant at arms! Yes, sir! Muster the troop! Yes, sir! Troops, attention! Ha! Forward, march! Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Soldiers arrived at the city of Jericho, and they saw that the city was surrounded by a mighty wall. Whoa! That is some wall! The wall is, the wall is as big as the Red Sea. Wow. The wall is as strong as a rock. The wall is as tall as a mountain. Don't worry, soldiers. I prayed and I've listened. God has given us a plan. You'll never guess what we're going to do. We're going to get some ladders, climb over the wall, and defeat the city. Yeah! Beat that wall! Beat that wall! Beat that wall! No, that's not the plan. Here's what we're going to do. I know, I know. I'm... We're going to get some ropes, climb over the wall, and defeat the city. Yeah! Beat that wall! Beat that wall! Beat that wall! Sergeant, get control of these people. Yes, sir! Shoot! 
Thank you. Soldiers, none of your big ideas are as powerful as the plans God has for us. I wonder how we know what God's plans are. We start by praying and listening. Good idea, sir. And now all of you listen? Sir, yes, sir! Thank you. Here's the plan. We will march around the city once a day for six days. And we will carry the Ark of the Covenant. And I have one more special piece of equipment to give you. Is it a weapon, sir? No, it's a trumpet. Yes, seven of you will play Ram's Horn's trumpet as we march. And then comes day seven. On day seven, we will march around the city seven times, blow the trumpets, give a great shout, and the walls of Jericho will just fall down. Any questions? Hands down, soldiers. Don't worry, sir. I really like your plan, especially that part about the loud trumpets. Sergeant, this is not my plan. It is God's plan. Soldiers, what did God tell us about having strength and courage? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Do we trust in God? Yes, sir. Do we find our courage in God? Yes, sir. Do we find our strength in God? Yes, sir. Let's march. What did you think of our Joshua story? Is that really how it happened in the Bible? Well, we put creative spin on things. We made a good point, though. Some people tell God their plans and how he should solve their problems. That sounds very bossy. Doesn't it, though? Joshua was a great leader because he was always careful to pray and listen for God's instructions ever played the trumpets. They never gave the mighty shout.
kept on and marched around those mighty walls. The ark displayed the trumpets clear and loud. Seven, they marched seven times, and Joshua said, The city's yours. People wondered what would happen now. What's the matter, Alex? I tried praying and listening, like Joshua, but this get off is still here. <laughs> According to my calculations, the get off has actually grown a little bit larger. said that. Did any of you say that? I don't think I said that. I certainly did not say that. God answers prayers in his own ways and in his time. Some get out to around for a long time. Really? It's true. I prayed for a long time about it get up in my life. The problem didn't go away. How did you even handle that? God helped me feel stronger and braver. He helped me find power I didn't know I had. Philippians 4.13, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. That's power. Power is great and all, but I still think a life without problems would be great. Seriously, why do I have to face a get-off? We all have get-offs in our life. You're telling me you have a problem that looks like this. No get-off looks quite the same, but we all do have them. Jesus even warned his disciples about the problems they might face. But uh, here's a verse to remember. Wherever we finish here in Matthew 16, 33.
might be. Maybe we should tell a Bible story about a storm. There's a really good one in the book of Matthew, chapter 14. No, 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 no. I really don't like storms. Oh, can I be the doctor? Please, please, please. Well, uh, yes. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, people. This story takes place on a boat. Who wants to go sailing? You can be Peter. You can be a disciple. We're going to need some waves, people.
there were pirates in the Bible. Someone was getting a little too creative. Arr! I love creativity, but everything has limits. Everything has limits except God. Right. We made a good point, though. Some people tug out their plans and... Exactly. When we look at our problems, we have worry and fear. But when we look to God, we can find our power and peace in Jesus. Hebrews 12, 1-3 Let's fix our eyes upon Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Like Peter. How could I have faith if I feel afraid? Alex, be 
faith is not a feeling. If faith isn't a feeling, what is it? Faith is a choice. Even when we're having a really bad day, we can choose to put our faith in God. So even if I feel worried or scared or sad, I just still have faith? Yes, faith is the only foundation strong enough to stand against to get up. Foundation, that's it. Let's tell us about the house on the rock. Matthew 7, 24 through 27. Places, people. Wise man and the foolish man. Take what? And action. Do this sir. Everyone who hears your friends of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Interrupt this program with a severe weather bulletin. We are expecting heavy rain, strong winds, and flood conditions. Take shelter. Yes, the wise men built this house in the rock, and then came the song. Our faith grows stronger. It's like we've added a brick to our foundation. 
Even when our problems seem like mountains and our worries seem like storm clouds, we can choose to put our faith in God. I think I'm ready to take a step of faith. God, I have to get up in my life and I'm not feeling very strong or brave. I feel worried and afraid. Thank you for helping me. Thank you for sending your son to save me. God, I put my faith in you. Alex, what do you see? This problem is still here, but the storm cloud's gone. How do you feel? I feel almost happy. I get this amazing world that God has created. There's so much more to life than I get off. So you're not feeling worried? No, I think it made me even feel great. This get out may be big, but God is so much better. You gave me more power. This get out may still be here, but you are here with me. There is hope. Thank you, God. than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name.
here? We have so many people to thank. First of all, I want to thank our fifth graders for a fabulous performance. Hey, Bessie. 